Tracking window numbers in MDI editors. Window handling is important in any complex MDI editor. You need a stable and updated window number list. The default pick list on the window menu is unstable if you have more than 10 files open. It makes sense to build your own tracking system. Tracking window numbers in MDI editors by Gene Fowler Acer IOSO at Earthlink.net Warning, the test bed for this code is Borland's text edit demo that comes with Delphi. If you are compiling in Delphi 5 or 5.01, you will need the modified forms.pa which I direct you to in my earlier article, Programming System Slash Next, Previous, in MDI Editors. In the description above, I say that the window menu pick list is unstable when more than 10 windows are open. I'm referring to the fact that any file beyond the ninth, when picked, becomes the ninth. A user isn't going to regularly have 10 or more windows open and isn't likely to pay much attention to the numbers on the list, anyway. But Microsoft's notion of users' mental abilities is not complementary. The numbers on that list seem to be only an artifact of a numbered list. And only nine are numbered, the ninth one changing as the dialogue comes up and others are picked. When a window is up there is nothing to identify its position in any order, let alone the load order. System slash next, and previous, flips through the Z stack, order, which changes from moment to moment. In eWriter, my MDI text writer, the software descendant of the old hardware typewriter, I put a window number, assigned on loading and updated when a file with a lower number is closed, on the status bar, along with the file's byte size. Clicking the status bar will get the next file in the load order, the next higher window number. For jumping, I use the old Turbo Alt plus top number hashtag for window hashtag 1 hashtag 9. Alt plus top number hashtag 0 gets a dialog I have on the window menu, above the default pick list. This dialog gives full path names and is a pick list. If the user isn't sure which alt plus hashtag he or she wants, alt plus zero and a click on the path name and another on the go button doesn't slow the jump much. The code below implements, in text edit, a simple tracking system that keeps track of window numbers and the files attached. I've put in a simple viewer so you can check the window numbers after your opens, closes, and shuffling. I don't know why Z stack order would be useful but you can see that the simplest way of checking the file slash number connection also reflects Z order in the viewer. Note, 
in the setup for the tile top 2 of N windows in my selective tiling in MDI editors, I did not put in any handling for untitled files either before or after saving which puts in a path name. In Savinas one click, I did not add the new file to open files. And I nowhere did anything about a untitled that has no path. If the untitled is one of the top two, it causes no problem. In the code below, I include a save as one click that can be included in the tiling articles code. If you save the new file it is placed in the open files and is included in all processing. If you have an unsaved untitled file, however, you will have strange effects, as you do now, whether the file is saved or not. The tile top 2 of N windows will ignore it. It will show up in the tiling. The loss of restore sizing is not one of the strange effects. That is caused by tile one click which I call in tile top two of N windows. Code. In using text edit as a test bed for the MDI text editor development I am doing in these articles, some properties need to be set. These are T open dialog options slash of allow multi select, true T edit form window state, was maximized in MDI frame dot pot, declare a global interface section variable named edit tag that is used in the modified versions of new one click and open one click open files used later is also declared and is initialized t frame form var edit tag long int open files String list, initialization. Open files equals t string list dot create, open files dot text equals, the open one click and new one click routines provide a value for edit tag before each opening. The value will be put into edit forms tag variable in its form create routine. This will ensure that each editor will have a window number. Procedure T frame form dot new one click sender T object begin lock window update handle edit tag equals MDI child count plus one T edit form dot create self lock window update zero and procedure T frame form dot open one click sender T object var i integer begin if open file dialog dot execute then lock window update handle for i equals zero to open file dialog dot files dot count one do begin edit tag equals mdi child count plus one with t edit form dot create self do open open file dialog dot files i and lock window update zero and in tdit form mdi edit dot pot 
all. The tracking is taken care of. Inform create, copy edit tag into tag, procedure t edit form dot form create, sender, t object, begin path name equals default file name, tag equals edit tag, and, edit tag is the, load sequence, window number. This will be kept in edit forms tag variable. These stored numbers will be moved down when an editor with a lower number is closed. Now, we build in our real tracking engine using tEditForm.Close. This routine uses the open files string list I declared in mdiframe.pa. Procedure t edit form dot form close, sender, t object, var action, t close action, var i, j, long int, close tag, integer, Begin close tag equals tag, for j equals zero to, frame form dot mdi child count, one, do with frame form dot mdi children j as t edit form do begin if tag close tag then tag equals tag, one, and, for i equals zero to open files dot count one do if open files i equals path name then begin open files dot delete i break and action equals c a free and procedure t edit form dot savius one click sender t object Begin save file dialog dot file name equals path name if save file dialog dot execute then begin path name equals save file dialog dot file name caption equals extract file name path name open files dot insert tag path name slash slash list new path name save one click sender and and view results note the viewer menu item set out below seems to cause the default pick list to drop out at least in delphi 5 I have fiddled with selectors in and out. You might want to fiddle with it and see if you can get text edits pick list for shuffling the Z stack before viewing tracked windows. You might have to restore windows to small size to shuffle the Z order by pulling windows up. This is probably only in D5, not D2, D4, which handles menu building in a way I haven't quite got the hang of. I certainly rebuild the window menu above the default pick list in eWriter first written in Delphi 3 and migrated through Delphi 4 to 5. We want a viewer to see the results of our assigning and tracking of window numbers as we open, close, and shuffle, ZStack, Windows. At the bottom of the window menu items list, add a new menu item, caption, window number assignment list name, Win number list one tab to events and double click on click. Then, 
fill in the event handler to create this routine procedure t frame form dot win number list one click sender t object var i j integer list string list s string begin slash slash this routine is a bit convoluted to catch new files list equals ts string list dot create list dot add outermost window at top z stack order hashtag 13 for i equals 0 to mdi child count 1 do begin s equals window number plus into str mdi children i dot tag if mdi children i dot caption equals default file name then begin s equals s plus plus mdi children i dot caption list dot add s and else begin for j equals 0 to open files dot count 1 do if pos mdi children i dot caption open files dot strings j 0 then begin s equals s plus plus open files dot strings j list dot add s break and 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 message dlg list dot text mt information mbok0 list dot free and here's a look at the result note to see the uses of this window number tracking in the complex tapestry of real-world window handling, you might play with my eWriter text writer. It is not only freeware, but doesn't install itself in the fabric of a system. It's easy to play with. Every open editor has its window number on the status bar. Clicking the status bar gets the next higher window number editor. Alt plus top number hashtag 19 gets the window numbered 19. Alt plus top number 0 gets a full path name pick list though the default caption only pick list is on the window menu for slightly quicker picking. The full path pick list is above it on the menu. 0.c, due out in June. 2001 will have window numbers in the path name pick list as a result of my writing this article. Interlaced bibliography I began ad-libbing these articles on doing some of the things I do in eWriter in the Delphi demo text edit, from which I built eWriter. It's natural to accumulate all these in one copy of text edit. And you might have to go back and forth to fill in new, missed, or changed support routines. Boxed notes appear most places. Figure it's ongoing shop conversation. Programming system slash next, previous, 
in MDI editors http colon slash slash www.howtodothings.com slash show article dot asp question mark article equal sign 143 selective tiling in MDI editors http colon slash slash www.howtodothings.com dot com slash show article dot asp question mark article equal sign one four seven tracking window numbers in mdi editors http colon slash slash www dot how to do things dot com slash show article dot asp question mark article equal sign one five four paragraph Paragraph pouring from a text editor http colon slash slash www dot how to do things dot com slash show article dot asp question mark article equal sign one seven eight